Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the McJeffrey 500, the podcast where I count down my 500 favorite films and then I make my friends watch them one movie at a time. Today is April 2nd, 2015. My co-host today, returning from last week, is Miss Lily. How you do, Miss Lily? Hello, love. Hello. I'm well, returning from the other side of the back-to-back. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to be, unless you show up for a group podcast for once, uh, you'll be uh, off for probably about a month, month and a half. So, we'll miss you. But we're not going to miss you now, because you're here at the moment. How was your, how was your week? Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump right in with small talk. Wow, okay. Uh, cut to the chase. I've been doing a lot of art, a lot of geocaching, a lot of working, and, I don't know, just kind of adventuring. What about you? Um, same, except none of that. <laughs> same, but none of that. Uh, well, busy. Busy part, yes. Work part, yes. Geocaching, not so much. Um, art, uh, well, everything I do is art, really. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Mm, yeah. Everything you do is a product of art, which is, you are art. Boom. There you go. It's your parents' art. Boom. <laughs> Ew! All right, all right. So, we are going... <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit out of sorts today. I do apologize in advance. I've just been running myself ragged the last few days. I've had uh, certain dramas, which I won't get into, and... Just, you know, work, you know, work's been bogging me a bit. I'm glad the weekend's coming up, but um, I will soldier through this just for y'all, you fine listeners, and for my co-hosts who... Aw, Jeffrey. Uh, especially for you, actually. I don't, I want to give you my 110%, but you're going to have to sell for my 100 today. I would take 50%, that's okay. You don't want the 50%. I've seen 50%, Jeffrey. I know you have. Thank God we didn't record that. So let's get to the point where we... Let's get to the point. Let's get to the part where we uh, share what we've uh, indulged in. Oh, yes, let's share. Um, um, as a, you know, film-wise, I'll let you go first. Um. Okay, well, I'm addicted to a show right now. Can I guess what the show is? Yes. Can I get a hint? No. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> then I'm gonna say man versus food. No. Okay, then I give up. It's not a reality show. Okay. Um, reruns of Little House on the Prairie. No. <laughs> oh, Laura Ingalls. Uh, no, I got me. What is it? Once upon a time. Oh, ABC presents Once Upon a Time. It's a show with all the uh, fairy tales living. It's like Shrek, but live action without ogres. Terrible animation. Kind of a cool storyline. And I just like to see all my favorite characters come to life. Such as? Um, Hook. As Captain in... James Hook, but he's not Captain James Hook in this. He's, his name is Killigan, and he is fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. As the Captain Hook I know is not fine. He's good. He's he's good. He's easy on the eyes. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, it's kind of odd though. The fairies kind of look like you know prostitutes with these giant tits and he, like crazy makeup, and they kind of almost you know it's like prostitute jellyfish. Prostitute jellyfish. <laughs> name name of the like podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> prostitute jellyfish. Um, that sounds like my type of fairy. Wait, no, now it's back again. It's like my I'm looking at recording equipment while we do this, and it's like a heart monitor. But it, it literally just stopped for a second. It's like, did my pocket... April Fool's! Oh. oh, wait, it's not April Fool's Day. Just kidding. Yeah, we should have done this on Wednesday. I could have pulled a really good April Fool's. Maybe next year. Say la vie. Anyway, uh, did you... In, oh, well, tell me about Once Upon a Time... Uh, so the special effects are like TV, you know, bargain yeah, basement stuff. Yeah, but. it's what you would kind of expect as a series. I'm only in the second season because I'm only obsessed. I'm oh, only so you're binge watching? Yeah, binge watching. When I get obsessed with things, I um do it nonstop. Basically, like there was <laughs> like your de- geo catching. It's hiking, which I do every Wednesday, but I was doing it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
it, you know, every day that I had off. Yeah. Uh, now it's just Wednesday again. Kinda so like, now you you actually look forward. I mean, not that you didn't look forward to it when you're doing it three days a week, but now it's like you genuinely, like, you get psyched about it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I did for the first month that I was doing it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then after that, I realized, well, it was actually kind of my allergies that fucked it all up for me. Stupid allergies ruins everything. Yeah, I couldn't run outside anymore. <laughs> I would, well, you can, but there will be consequences. Yeah, I'd be in the hospital, an asthmatic attack. You know, you've been there. You I, the I have. That was so sad. I've, <gasps> never, I've, never, I've never seen Lily look so vulnerable. Until now. Uh, so, as far as people who don't have allergies, do, do you hate hate us? Because I have none. I don't. Even, I can't even relate. Um, not really. Do you envy this? Do you envy what's in front of you? Yes. <laughs> I envy what's in front of me, this cup. No, no, no. Turn your head. Oh, okay. Hi. Hey! You microphone. Envy- oh, man. Pass the microphone. Look here. Envy this. Hello. Envy what I can do. I can see from the greatness. It's blinding me. Ah. Uh-huh. Ah. Anyway, uh, I once had, apparently was allergic to feathers. I used to get nosebleeds when I would rest my head on a pillow. Of... Good to know, I'll bring by feathers. It, I don't think I have that allergy anymore. I think it went away. Either that, or they misconstrued it as an allergy, and when I really was doing as a kid was probably picking boogers out of my freaking nostrils, and then and going to sleep, feathers. and just letting the blood flow, the capillaries burst. There's an image. Anyway, uh, so once upon a time, you're into it, you're binging it, so far you're not sick of it, that's good. No, not yet anyways, because the effects are getting better, and the story is getting better and better. Because the show did well, or is doing well, and therefore they they get more of a budget. Cause, more of the money. Because shows like that are actually very rare, because TV is all about the bomb dollar lately, that's why you see so much reality TV, because it's so cheap. So if you're going to have a live action type show, which requires a budget, you better you know, bring the heat. Apparently they are. So good on them. Yeah, it's kind of cool guessing what character is actually which one. Because it starts, there's a fairy tale land, and then there's a curse set upon them by the evil queen. Oh no. Oh no. And then they get transferred to this world. And so there's no magic. Oh god, And they don't remember terrible. who they were. A world with no magic? Yeah, there's no magic here. Sorry to fuck that up for you. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess up Maybe your dreams. There's no fairies. <laughs> um. So they don't remember who they are, and the story is they're trying to break the curse. There's only one person, the Savior, and she doesn't really believe in I thought you were going to say Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> that fairy tale. <laughs> the Savior of the town. I'm sure Jesus Christ will somehow appear in this show somehow. <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait. I hope the Ninja Turtles somehow pop sweep, up sweep. in this. Comics and fairy tales mixed into one. Okay. Booyah! If they can get the licensing, yeah, you don't think they won't try it. They won't try it. They won't get the licensing. Uh, Alright, well, good times. Good times on your TV watching. I keep on wanting to watch television, but I, it's like I can't devote my precious time to it. Like I'm not being all erudite and like I'm above television, but I really... You know, I want to know what's going on. I want to know about Walking Dead. I want to know about Game of Thrones. But I just know what commitment I have to put into it to get caught up. And it's just, I just don't have that time. I mean, I could take a week off, like a vacation week and binge watch. But I'd rather, I don't know, go See, outside. That's run, the run. cool thing about shows is you don't have to binge watch. You can watch a show at a time. Yeah, but I know me. And I, I won't do that. Do. I, I know that I, I can't do it. They're like, you know, what, what's like the chip that you can't eat just one? Uh, ruffles? No, they have the ridges. It's Lay's. Lay's. Oh, no, no. Pop the top. You can't stop. That would be Pringles. Well, once you pop, you can't stop. It's yeah. a variation of, but you can't eat just one. Yeah, Lay's, it is actually Lay's, Lay's potato yeah. chip, which is actually a falsehood because I'm not a big fan of Lay's. It's got mono and sodium I could glutamate. Eat. Mm, that mm, rolled, that rolled right off the tongue. <laughs> Uh, I could eat just one, and I eat that one reluctantly because I'm not a big potato chip fan because they're greasy. But I like what if they're baked, not fried? Oh, I like baked lays. When I was 
quote unquote dieting. I I snacked on baked glaze all the live long day. It's good times. Cool story, bro. I was just about to say that. You read my mind now, Jeffrey. I don't know what else is new. Uh, but you did see, or you are in the midst of watching an older movie. Do you want to regale me with the details? No, not really. What? Ex- I can't give you a... It's Explorers. She's watching Explorers. It's it, actually kind of entertaining. An 80s t- uh, young boy staple. It came out around the same time as, like, The Goonies, so it's definitely that... that. I didn't even know it existed. It just popped up on Netflix, and I'm like, oh, look, it's a Goonies-type movie. Yeah, but with, um, it's, instead of pirates, we're dealing with the spice ships. And you have a young River Phoenix. You have a young Ethan Hawke, which I actually forget he was a kid actor once upon a time. And then there's a third kid who, uh, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> He's probably dead died on the set of Explorers. But you you are enjoying it thus far? Thus far. I haven't finished it yet, so I didn't even want to bring it up, but I'm sure it's entertaining to people listening. I haven't finished it yet. So well, I... it's not, you're not coming back next week, so we can't, you know, you can't tell us how okay, you... Okay, so did you like the movie? When I was a kid? I haven't seen it since then. I mean, I liked the Police Academy movies when I was a kid. So, you know, there's where my... I just cracked my knuckles. Uh, that's where my taste lied. So... It could be good or it could be terrible. I like the fantasy of building like a spaceship. These kids are smart enough to have like a bubble around it because I don't even remember. I was kind of half asleep. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember how they got the bubble, but it's a bubble around it. It's, I don't know. I think, no, it was the kids. They had a dream and there's coordinates and somehow they made this fucking, I don't know. That's the problem. Okay. But you're totally into it. What you've seen, you know, through yeah, half yeah. consciousness. Half consciousness. Yeah. All right. I don't I really watch t- too many things. I'm too busy geocaching. Geocaching. Well, we'll get into that someday. If you're still into geocaching by the time you come back onto Tonight the podcast. Someday. I've almost got a hundred. I don't even know what that means. That means Is that I'm, good? Yes, it's awesome. Okay. It means I'm obsessed. Yeah. No, no, you're definitely obsessed. I follow you on Facebook. And in life. I don't even post all the geocaches on Facebook. But that's your primary, what you're posting lately. Like, find the geocache. But you don't even play that game. I don't need to. Why? Because, what do I get if I win? Dignity. Curry got loads of that. False dignity, but you know, it's still. Your dignity. happiness. You found something. I'm happy. You know, I, I happy. could be happier, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, that's debatable. Uh, just real quick, I saw the movie It Follows. It's a horror movie about um, people getting chased by. So, you know what? Do I really want to get into this? It's good. Okay, so, alright, so there's. It's. A lot, a lot of rustling going on right now. I got the headphones so I, I can hear him. Uh, so there's this guy who has sex with this girl. And by having sex with this girl, he pawns off this spawn-killing ghost thing that will follow her until she gets killed by it. Unless she has sex with somebody, and then basically the ghost thing will follow that person. And so on and so forth, like a chain. Now... So everybody's having sex with each other? Basically. But you're doing it to keep the ghost from... And so let's say the ghost... All right, so let's say I had sex with girl A, and girl A had sex with boy A. So the ghost will now be following boy A. Now, if the ghost kills boy A, then the ghost will come back to kill the previous person. It's very obsessive-compulsive, which is nice. Uh, kills girl A, and then, oh, crap, they killed you know, the two people... Previous to me, so now I'm getting followed again. So now I have to, you know, send this curse off somewhere. It's very convoluted and weird, and I think I only half understood it, but I did enjoy it. Really? Yeah, it was fun. So if you had a choice, it's the last second. The ghost is about to get you. If you had only had a choice of dying from the ghost or mm-hmm. having sex with someone with AIDS, which one would you do? I would have sex with a person with AIDS because. We have made many, many breakthroughs. Now, Does it matter what you have sex with? I don't want to be killed by ghosts. No, no, no. If it was like a donkey. No. Or I, a pillow. I, I would rather be killed by a ghost than have sex with a donkey. Okay. I do have my standards. Okay. Just making sure. Or a sex doll. It's a blow-up doll. You still have... Done. If I can 
No, 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 no. Does it count in the movie? No, it has to be a living, breathing thing. To my knowledge. Okay. It's a good movie. Check it out. If you like, you know, it's a, it's, it's horror. It's, it's definitely different from, you know, what people are probably used to. And it's, it's a little slow moving at first, but once you, you know, get, get into the rhythm of it, uh, it's a, it's, it's a pretty, pretty positive experience. All right. Let's talk about what we're about to watch. Please. Okay. I'm dying over here. Yeah, clearly. All right, so I w- this is generally the time when I pull out the Netflix envelope and reveal the movie, but you've not seen this movie, and I feel after reading the synopsis that it gives away too much. I almost want you to go into this movie completely blind. blind. What I will tell you is, released in 1997, it is from Sweden. You just smelled your sock. It stars Stellan Skarsgård, the great Stellan Skarsgård. And the movie was remade by um, Dark Knight director Christopher Nolan um, a few years afterwards by a movie with the same title. We are going to watch Insomnia. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) And for a snack, now I must get up. So, talk to you like... Talking to the mic. Hey, Mike. Nice to see you. All right, since so the movie, it's weird to talk without my headphones on. I'm gonna put them back on. There I am. Now I can hear myself. So, since the movie is based in Sweden, I provide Spinhard's Bear Claws. They are from a Swedish bakery. Yes. From Swedish bears. And we'll be right back. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we interrupt this podcast to uh, give you an advert, ladies and gentlemen. Generally, this is the part of the podcast where I put the trailer of the movie that you we are currently discussing. However, since this is a Swedish film, and I'm assuming most of my uh, listeners are not Swedish... The, that would just be very confusing. Uh, mm-hmm. So, instead, I'm going to take this time to uh, promote my uh, good friend, uh, Engineer Travis's podcast. The Hello, pla- Hi. Oh, Hello. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm stepping all over you right now. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my, my man, Travis, has got a podcast it's called The Plan 9 Podcast that features me mm-hmm. uh, pretty prominently. And what you want... Travis, why don't you regale the people with uh, what the podcast is all about? Okay, the Plan 9 podcast is... We concentrate on movies, science fiction movies from the 1950s. Mm-hmm. And from there, we might branch out and do some other uh, m- movies from other eras. Oh, yeah? As long as they're still sci-fi. Uh, no, we might do some horror, too. Man, maybe some westerns. I don't, I don't think westerns. <laughs> That'd be another, that would be a different podcast. Uh, that, well, that's the podcast will be coming will be coming from us in the future. We'll be doing a western podcast, and then we will do a um, milit- film film noir podcast. Fil- film noir, and then we'll do uh, one on war films, <laughs> and then we will uh, set up a podcast empire talking about films that you know most people probably don't care about, but you care because you're listening to this. Congratulations and thank you. Uh, all right, so. Check this it out. Where, week, where can they find the podcast, Travis? The Plan 9 podcast. It can easily be found at plan9podcast.com. Mm. Remember, that's the number 9 not spelled out. Yeah, don't be, don't be an idiot. Yeah. And uh, this week, we are doing The Blob. Yes. We, uh, we are doing the classic 1950s Blob, starring Mr. Steve McQueen. And a bunch of nobodies. Exactly. Except for the blob. Blob's well, he's no, he's a no, he's a non nobody. I don't even know what that is. I don't either. He's but a, he's a blob. He, he, nothing, nothing can move the blob. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, uh, check check it out after you're done checking this one out. Uh, and uh, back to the show. This is the worst promo ever. This needs no editing whatsoever. This is perfect. This is how I work, people. All right, back to it. And we have returned. We just finished watching Insomnia, a Swedish film that uh, was a very popular hit in its native land. 
even though uh, most of the film actually takes place in Norway. It's uh, it is a Swedish production, and as I spoke on before we you know left you, uh, it did get an American remake. Uh, Christopher Nolan directed it uh, with a cast of Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and Hilary Swank, all Oscar winners at the time. So, thoughts, Lily? Uh, uh, she liked it that much. Um, I really shouldn't have watched that um, right after work. Uh, it made me feel like I was drugged. So, uh, if the effect was supposed to be artsy slash hypnotic... Um, it really lived up to its name, Insomnia, I guess. Sort of. Mm. Piercing eyes that never blinked. Monotone. Uh, characters. Uh, people lying to each other and to themselves. And, oh god, it's just Maybe. Not, not a good day to watch this one. Okay. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> I, I, I warned you, uh when I spoke to you on the phone earlier, that this movie is going to be a complete 180 from Slums of Beverly Hills. And I, I wasn't lying. Yeah. No, like, ugh, instead of giving me a bear claw, what you really should have given me is a cappuccino. They didn't, <clears throat> drink, they didn't drink coffee in the movie. I could have got you some whiskey. I don't drink whiskey. Well, then we have a problem. They probably did drink coffee at one point, but was not a, a major snack arc, so I just went with the... Uh, you know, what Swedes are known for, and that's uh, Danish, Coffee. American Danishes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we have here is the story of a detective who goes to investigate the murder... Investigate. A mis- <laughs> Quiet, yo. <laughs> Investigates the murder of a teenage girl. And to do so goes to... I want to say it's Norway. Did we... Did we figure it was Norway or Denmark. It's something Norwegian. And it's... Basically, it's like Alaska where it's on the upper hemisphere and 30 days out of the year, there is complete darkness and another 30 days, there's complete daylight. We get the daylight. So no vampires in this one. (laughs) So we have this detective who's apparently pretty good at his job. And he's investigating, and they find the guy who may be responsible for the young girl's death. And they, unfortunately, in the country they're in, they are not allowed to have firearms, even the police. Uh, our, our, our hero, quote-unquote, uh, decides he's going to bring his gun anyway because, you know, he's, you know, he's a badass. That's what fucked it up for me. Yeah. It's like you got this hero, and then all of a sudden he becomes the villain. This lying slime ball that I just really wish would fucking stick his head on a nail. Okay, so, and that's that's totally fair. So what eventually happens through the hazy fog? There is confusion, and he accidentally kills his partner, and since he. He essentially panics. Uh, he's not supposed to have a gun, so there's no way he's supposed to be able to shoot anybody. More or less, the, you know, his friend, his partner for a year. So he does a cover-up and uh, essentially blames the death on our, you know, our perpetrator, the 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 actual killer. Uh, unbeknownst to him, the actual killer actually witnessed him shoot his partner. So now you have them basically knowing the truth about each other, but having to work as a team to essentially clear both their names. And we find out that the killer and the cop are essentially very similar people. Ooh, deep, I know, I know. So, I think that's the story in a nutshell. We definitely have a, a protagonist who is essentially pretty unlikable. You you mentioned that he's thoroughly awkward through the whole movie. Halfway through the movie, I was like, I'm done. I'm totally done with this movie. I can't do it now. It's just bothersome. Yeah. Mostly because it made me tired, and it's called insomnia. Kind of back-ass words. Uh, should, be, should have been called narcolepsy. 
That would that would. I, I gotta give it credit though. I mean, at least it was artsy. I mean, <laughs> it was well done. That's how I know it was artsy. I was bored. <laughs> right, well, it, let me ask you this question: For you, is uh, for to have a protagonist? Does it help that you like the protagonist? For you to have any stake in the actual movie? Um, and that rustling in the background is my mother in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, I mostly like villains. I've always been that way, including like Disney characters. Well, they tend to be the more interesting characters. You know, people. No one wants to play the hero. Everyone wants to be the bad guy. You don't go to Batman movies essentially to see Batman. You go to see well, who are the villains in this one? And you know, no one saw Dark Knight for Christian Bale. They watched it for Heath Ledger. Um. Mom, can we do that some afterwards? <laughs> Deep size. All right. Yeah, may have to cut that out. Actually, I'm gonna pause this. The button I need to push. Okay. So I'm really noticing. Oh God! There I go yawning. Uh, <laughs> I'm noticing with all the movies that you pick for me. There's usually. Um, well, a lot of awkward moments. Uh, something that causes your gut to go, Oh, God, that's painfully embarrassing. Or, why are you doing that or conflicting with my morals? Here's this old cop who's, you know, breaking the law just by having a gun there. Mm-hmm. Um, and now he's fondling 15-year-old girls in his cop car. I always wondered if that... Well, watching it again, I don't think so. But initially, when I saw that movie, I honestly thought that was kind of an imagined scene for some reason. I, I kept thinking things were imagined scene because but there in are... the end, it wraps up and it's like, oh, everything that we just witnessed is real. You yeah. just feel drugged afterwards. Yeah. Well, I mean, because there are scenes that he does imagine, essentially scenes that include the person he's slain. Uh, so I thought, oh, maybe this is one of those scenes, and I realized, no, he's a uh, he's kind of a degenerate, <laughs> um, awkward. And we don't get much of a backstory except that he's, he has no family. His brother died when he was 11. And he made up with like this you know, story for him to kids at school who didn't know he was dead. So that's about as much backstory as we get on this guy. He, he's obviously trying to cover up his... Who doesn't fucking like kittens? <laughs> what do you he, call them? Disgusting? He called them disgusting. Yeah. Is that Was that the last straw? Yeah, you don't like kittens? All right, that's it. I'm done with you, fool. I'm done with you. So he he's staying at this um, hotel motel, Beverly Hills. Uh, <laughs> slums of Beverly Hills. Um, he's staying at at this flat or this, I don't know. We'll just call it an inn. Inn. That's an inn. And there's the desk clerk. Apparently she's the only one that works there. <laughs> Day and night, even though it's day all day. Uh, she, they, they kind of have a rapport as much as any uh, customer and hostess can. At one point, he confronts her and she wants to show her his, she wants to show him her kitten. I thought that was very subtle. And all of a sudden, he finds himself basically raping this girl on a wall full of stacked toilet paper. You know, you're saying that that is not the romantic, most romantic place ever to... Um, it's probably soft. It's exceptionally <laughs> soft. Depends. Only if it's two ply. <laughs> no doubt. It's quilted, preferably. Uh, yeah, well, he does a, a bumbling pass that she actually reciprocates. And then they fish kiss for a little bit. And then he, um... You know, fish kiss. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, uh... It really was. It was like if you had two dolls with their mouths open, and just went, back and forth, and they just clacked faces. Back. Like this. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's the faces. Mmm. That's hot. So basically, he, um, tried to steal a bunch of bases. He wanted to get that home run, and she wasn't having it. You know, she was all about... You're out! She's a first base Betty. He, uh, he, he, you know... He, you know, he, he pressed his luck. Yeah. He got the whammy. So I got farther with 15-year-old. Uh, yeah, she didn't stop him. Fucking freak. And then at the end, I don't really want to spoil it. No, she... please, spoil it. This uh, People who should expect spoilers on this podcast. Please. Okay. Well, then at the end, when the female cop finally figures out that it was him, she doesn't rat him out. 
No. So the female cop is actually the person who he actually has somewhat of a relationship while he's doing this investigation with. She is put on the case to find out who ki- uh, killed his partner. So basically she's um, investigating that particular murder, whether or not it's the same guy. It's a separate case. And she's a smart cookie. She kind of puts two and two together, and she finally determines that this whole time it was him. And she confronts him with proof, and still lets him lets him go. Why is it because of his animal magnetism? I don't even know how to answer that one. I'm sorry. Is is it just this is this is what happens in Norwegian countries, or is this? Um, I had myself thinking: is it because it's foreign, or is this just supposed to be awkward through the whole movie? Mm, I don't know. I'm 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 swaying that they do things differently in different countries. I guess because they don't have any night time for three. All right. Sorry. I will actually have to edit this podcast because it's being weird today. Stopping and going. Yeah. Um, all right. So sorry if y'all missed that part. I don't know what happened there. It just stopped recording. <sighs> anyway, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It 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 lulled you into a um a, a blanket cocoon of uh malaise. Oh man, my eyes are all glazed over now. <laughs> Work today and now I'm just ready for bed. Thanks a lot, Jeffrey. No problem. I love the bedtime story. <laughs> so, it in- ended re- really weird with the graphics and the eyes. They just kind of stand out like it's a bad horror movie. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a day walker. Yeah. I, I, here's a question: um, If you had to be stuck thirty days somewhere, would you rather have thirty days of complete darkness or thirty days of complete light? <laughs> 30 days of darkness. I'm kind of the same way, but he has trouble throughout this whole movie falling asleep. I've never, ever, if I'm tired enough, I can sleep in broad daylight. I totally do not, I mean, he gets to the point where he takes, you know, tape around the blinds because they kept on popping open as a cruel joke. And then he takes his um, blanket off his bed and he uses, staples it to the wall. Staples it to the wall, and he just cannot, you know, fall asleep. Maybe it's because of the guilt, but I would guesstimate he's in this town for about a week, and uh, we get no inclination that he ever actually completely falls asleep. He starts uh, at one point actually seeing things and hallucinating. Which I guess comes with the territory. Uh, what's the what's the most what's the longest you've ever stayed awake? Mm, two and a half days. Two, what was why? I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of a blur. It was a long time ago. Two and a half days. I do recall being up for over twenty four hours, and I I remember making a note of that in my head, like, wow, I've been up all. Literally all day long. And I don't think I've gone more than that. Maybe maybe a day and a half has been the most. And like you, I, I don't recall what the circumstances. was. Probably because I had to work, because I used to work graveyard. And maybe I had to work a swing shift <coughs> r- right after, which is a cruel, cruel joke. Yeah. So After hour 20, I was starting to get a little delusional. <laughs> I am a princess. <laughs> I say that anyway. <laughs> I'm a queen. Queen of delusion. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'll, I'll deal with the darkness. Did you ever see uh, Thirty Days of Night? Yeah, I did. I saw it in theaters. All right, better movie. This Thirty Days of Night or Insomnia. Insomnia was really well constructed, and so I gotta give him that. Hmm. But at least 30 Days of Night um, kept me awake. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you know, it had vampires. If this movie had vampires, well, they would die instantly because it's daylight. But, so, actually, horrible example. If this movie had werewolves. Day wolves. Day wolves. <laughs> Day wolves. Because the moon's out in the daytime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? 
It is. Yeah, it well, is. I've never heard of um, a day werewolf, though. Well, uh, if I, anyone out there listening knows of a day werewolf, let us know. Someone needs to make that movie because it's in it's the land of the midnight sun. Which okay, I guess that means the sun. <laughs> guess that has nothing to do with the moon. Okay, werewolves are pretty useless in Thirty Days of Light. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Zombies then. Yeah, they'd be easier to spot. It's daylight, though it is foggy. Oh, <laughs> Stay with I'm me. I'm sorry, you're making me fall asleep here I'm with tr- the boringness. Oh, that's harsh. Zombies, really? Zombies? You couldn't have come up with something better. I don't know why I'm running out of monsters. I know, I know. Wait, really? You never played D&D? You never looked at a monster manual Okay, before? 30 Days of Ogres. Ogres, this, that's a movie! There you go. Or trolls from under the bridges and they'll come out in the daytime. <laughs> Actually, trolls don't like the day. Never mind. Damn it! I'm ruining this! No. Goats? No. Not really. No. This, time. this is fine. All the creepies and crawlies. This is basically the best podcast ever. Ever. <laughs> Say it with me, Jeffrey. Ever. 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 So, Stellan Skarsgård, um, did you recognize... What reckon- did you just say? Stellan <laughs> Skarsgård, who is the lead in this movie. You have seen him before, have you not? I have. have. Have you seen this man? I have seen that man. In American productions? Yes, indeed. Do you know where you've seen him? No, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. You watched Thor? Oh, is that where I fucking seen it? Oh. He was in Thor. Uh, he was in Goodwill, Honey. There you go! <laughs> Ah, that's how I recently saw it, because I actually just watched that for the first time not too long ago. Oh, we should talk about that. No, I don't want to talk about it. Why? Because I just don't. (laughs) I don't want to talk about movies anymore. You made my brain go to sleep. Okay. Best podcast ever. So are you trying, you go on a record right now and say, record? You go on a record right now? Record. We'll put you on wax. What is that sound? Is that me? No. What is that shuffling? It's a cat. Are you playing under the table? Maybe. You're making... I can totally hear... I'm sorry. I didn't know. I don't Stop have, playing. I don't have headphones on. Maybe you should get me headphones, Jeffrey. Maybe I will get... Je- a- Jeffrey. What? <laughs> Jeffrey. Headphones. <laughs> get me headphones. Well... Then I'd know if it's picking up sound. Okay. All that sound you may have been it's hearing... It's a cat. It's <laughs> not a cat. Um, it is a cat. Lily's play... Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> All right, stop, stop that. I was wondering what that was. It was driving me nuts. She's been playing with the the. Oh, she's playing with something. A under cat. The table. She's playing with playing with her cat under oh the table. Oh my god, no, Don't say it like that, Jeffrey. How do you want me to say it? Uh, stop it. In your... a little girl voice. <laughs> that, 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 was that your little girl voice? No, I want you to say it in a little girl voice. See, I'm delusional now. This movie makes people drugged and delusional. Would you be intrigued to see the American version? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, so, in the Stellan Skarsgård's role is played by Al Pacino. Robin Williams plays the killer in the American really? version. Really? Definitely interested then. And Hilary Swink plays the uh, officer... The female, the main female in this movie. Um, so what's really different about it? Is there actually a humor because Robin Williams is in it? He usually mm, interjects no, some he, sort of his humor. role is actually pretty humorless. He plays it. He, Robin Williams plays creep very well. Oh, gross. Yeah, no, he's no, he's. Plays, I don't know if I want to watch it. I got him like in a certain section of my brain. I don't want to take him out. Well, you should consider the section of your brain where where you have him as actually a really good actor because he's he is well, a good actor. I already actor. think he is. All right. Well, he's fine in this. He shows that he doesn't have to you know be you know, goofy. I mean, clearly you saw Goodwill Hunting won Oscar for it. I've also hey seen- connection. Dylan Skarsgård was in Goodwill Hunting with Robin Williams, who was in the remake. Boom! Full circle. It's not full circle. If it was full circle, we... Okay, half circle. What the fuck ever? We we gotta connect it to Explorers. That's how this podcast ends. No, I don't wanna. Wait, why do we... Why do we have to connect it to Explorers? Well, that's uh, what we talked about in the beginning. Well, also Once Upon a Time. Well, who's who's in that besides Sexy Captain Hook? 
So oh, that's all I can remember. Sexy ca- Captain Hook. All right, all right. Should, should that be the new title of the podcast? Sexy Captain Hook. Or, yeah. Or do you like jellyfish prostitute? Uh, jellyfish prostitute is your girlfriend. Is my girlfriend? Yes. Wait. She turns out to be a nun in the real world. Sorry about that. Sorry about your bad luck. Nuns are hot. That's yeah. the name of the podcast. <laughs> Please leave that in. I, I leave all this in, even the awkward parts where I say I'm going to cut it. I'm leaving it in. And that, my yeah. friends, is why I can't listen. Yeah, you have to listen. No, you're subjecting me to movies that make me go, oh. Oh, it's going to get better. Oh. They make you have a bowel movement? Uh, no, that would be, ooh. <laughs> is that the same thing? <laughs> I, I do more of a, oh. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. <laughs> I almost wanted to tell a bowel movement story, but... No, last time it was ejaculation, this time it's bowel movement. It's what the people want. Uh, Do you want to hear about our bodily functions? (laughs) Yes. Liquids. And solid. Sticky. Sticky? You you having some sticky shits? (laughs) Liquidy? No. Actually, I eat oatmeal every single morning. I'm proud of that. Pretty, pretty it's nice solid. to know someone is. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, disappointed in that. You should be eating Swedish pastries no. every morning. I don't think so. Are you going to eat your other one? No, it's for you. Happy birthday. I had one. Happy birthday. I know. What happened to it? I even see you eat it. I think I you just it. shoved it in your mouth. That's it. I, I was very one hungry. One bite. I, was cons- I consumed it in, in probably four bites. I was hungry. I haven't ate all day. Best podcast ever. Ever. <laughs> Clearly. How many more minutes do we have? Uh, about six. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. What was uh, your favorite part of the movie? Oh, I like the part where he touches the teenager in the car. How did I know that? <laughs> that, and, I, and I'm trying to recall the American version. In the American version, the, the main difference is uh, Pacino's character, I seem to recall, is a lot more sympathetic than Skarsgård. You actually kind of sympathize with, since he's sympathetic, you sympathize with him. Wait, does he actually speak in Swedish? No. Okay. No, it actually takes place in Alaska in the American remake, no, which is the same stuff. I'm not talking in. about in the American, I'm talking about this version. Yeah, he's the, he's, that's a vehicle. So much background noise this time. We have to do this at your house next time. You had the option. I know. Probably. See you in a month and a half. <laughs> You'll see me before then. <laughs> we feel like we should wrap it up now. Bye. Wait, hold on. Hold on. All right. Here's the table. I'm holding on. Oh, that's loud. Oh. I'm not getting you headphones. You bring headphones. I I got a jack you can plug in. It's a road jack. How about you sing everything you're about to say? That would be entertaining. You want me to go all sing-songy? Yeah, do it. We'll leave you at that theme music provided by Austin Osgram. If you want more information, you visit Austin Osgram on the Facebook or the SoundCloud or the YouTube. Put in Austin like the city, Oz like the wheel zone, Graham like the cracker. Special thanks goes out to Engineer Travis, without whom you would not be hearing this lovely ditty. By the way, I'm on his podcast as well. That's the Plan 9 podcast. This week we watch The Blob. The Blob. The Blob. (laughs) And with that, we will leave you with some music by an artist who did the music for this movie. They're called Biosphere. They make ambient music and the song is called Insomnia. It's the Elena mix. So, until next time. Jazz hands! 
you, old pigs. I bid you adieu.